certain time, this is definitely uh, definitely doable for Bowser. Yeah, there's certainly been an evolution in how this matchup is played, and hopefully we see that here on game one between Mystery and Cassius, as Mystery has no shield. <laughs> just right off the bat, he's just sort of coming in with a, like a buckler, yeah. really. I mean, he's not planning on shielding anyway, because shielding means he gets grabbed. <laughs> yeah, uh, like we were just saying, you shield, you die. That's how Bowser works. You have, there's a lot of threat behind that pivot grab. Ooh. And even the command grab. Yeah, that command grab is going to be kind of important because normally one of the things that Mr. E excels at is his ledge play. He's just so good. You know, he plays those characters with those swords, with those disjoints. And when the opponent is on ledge, it can be really bad. Um, he just keeps them there for so long. Amazing dash attack, beating out the down B because, you know, okay. Oh, Man. and he's dead. He had no jump. Flying Fortress not going to be enough to fly him back onto the Lilac Cruise. And stock one going in favor of Mr. E with really not a lot of damage built up from Cassius. He's getting the, uh, the ledge situation now, but oh. doesn't get the ledge to Trump, so he's not able to finish things out. All right, and now we see the juggles coming into play. Bowser, that's probably his biggest weakness. In this matchup, it's not that quite as bad because Cloud has to respect a down air because it will trade uh, if, if the timings line up. Which means that, you know, Cloud's like, you know, throwing Bowser up there. He's, you know, doing the bench press, bench press, and just, you know, all of a sudden Bowser down airs and kills him at like 50. It's happened. Uh, oh, nice up tilt covering uh, the ledge there. So between pacing back and forth, Cassius just trying to weigh out his options, see how he can approach on Mystery. E. And Mystery, e, as typical of his play style, regardless of character, just putting out tons of pressure. Uh, he manages to get killed by the command grip, but. He's still in it to win it with 100% already built up on Cassius' side. Yeah, of course, Bowser being um, the heavy boy he is can really take advantage of that rage. I will also mention that uh, Bowser up smash beats out Cloud down air if spaced properly. Oh, that was okay. I'm actually surprised that that didn't hit him. Hello? So Clem has her clanking through with up smash and presenting just the right set of uh, circumstances for Cloud's down smash to just finish off Cassius. Cassius looks about as confused and done as I am. Uh, He's just sort of like Cloud. Cloud, le cloud up B is, is an enigma. <laughs> he, he, I feel like his entire hurt box disappears at random times during the move. <laughs> There's a um, lot of invincibility during it. It's, it's a very think, strange move. I think it's like he like the thing is his hurt box shrinks like a lot. I oh, believe it does. that's what it is. And so right there, even though the up smash like you know clanked with the sword, apparently you know he was about like twelve feet away from the sword. So All right, we've got a stage switch. We've got a character switch for Mr. East side, and I actually really like this. Uh, just sort of making Cassius pay for his stage comfortability, but right off the bat, sitting in a, a ledge situation in favor of Cassius. We'll see how this Lucina pick uh, works out for Mr. E. Yeah, I will say one thing about uh, Mr. E's cloud is that he didn't, did he get much off of limit? Uh, I don't really even think he landed a limit hit, and it's like, if you're not gonna be landing those limit, you know, moves, like you might as well just, you know, pick a character with a little more consistent on the hitboxes. I don't know, the fact that he was really just using limit as a threaten tool and- That is true. Just using the normals that cloud brings to the table and how good those are instead, Oh, beautiful Yikes. back air. Yeah, going to close out that back air out of shield. The, the other thing is actually that, less so the hitboxes, but more so the edge guarding, because Lucina can actually go off stage against Bowser, and it has the counter that once Bowser gets knocked off, if he's forced to up be in a specific spot, it can be bad. <laughs> Speaking of bad, oh my lord. Smart wait on uh, Mr. E's part, because otherwise he would have gone past the ledge. That's right. The 60 frame rule. And Cassie's playing this a lot smoother than uh, game one had went. I feel like Lilac just really put a damper on how Cassius likes to control space. And even though this is working out in particular for uh, Cassius, I don't feel like it was really character oriented. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe it. And, and that's it. Wait out the air dodge, get the up air, and here we go into game three. That's how it goes. Bowser presents so much kill power behind his kit, and if you start to get too reckless, you get caught, you get clawed, you get bodied. Absolutely, and right now, so do you think we're gonna get a character switch back? Or do you think he's gonna go back to Cloud? Um, Potentially. I feel like, Marth? 
I don't think we'll see the Marth. I personally think it would be a smarter choice. But I also feel that switching to Cloud is the best option for Mr. E right now, just because we saw, and you mentioned this earlier, there really was no limit play in game one. And imagine what the kind of pressure is that Mr. E could present to us if he also threatened with limit. Yeah. The only time we saw him utilize it was when he... Recovering. Uh, yeah, he recovered back during an edge guard situation. Interestingly enough, we will be seeing the Marth into game three. Oh, okay. So actually, going back on his word, said uh, cycling through all of his characters for this set. We're going to get to see them all. Uh, he's going to be pulling out his patented Marth. This is the, you know, the Marth that got him on the PGR top 50. Uh, Mr. E, of course, one of the most notable, you know, players of this character in the world. Of course. Uh, and it is, he is so terrifying with it. And let's see if we can see that terror come out here. He's up against the King of Terror, but, you know. Ooh. Yeah, there couldn't be two better pilots for the two characters that we see here. You know, nice little treat for Tip Nash seeing the Marth back in action. And, of course, Cassius in full form now coming into game three. What a beautiful grab! Using it actually as an interrupt for uh, you know, Mr. E was jumping up there and he just he like Cassius just was inside his head. He knew he's not going to throw out that instant aerial, so he just goes for the grab and he manages to get it. Cassius has to take those little situations where he can get them. The whole idea of being able to safely interrupt Mr. E without threatening to challenge. He's got to keep his stronger moves fresh, and he really can't afford to shield too much. So. Grab where he can, and whew, back on stage he goes. Ooh, smart, just going straight towards the ledge. Doesn't want to stall that situation out anymore. Um, uh, so he's throwing out a lot of these hitboxes. He's doing some air dodging to mix it up. Yeah, the, neither of these players are really getting trumped. Like you've seen, both of them go for the uh, go for like the trump attempt several times. Amazing going down there. I guess that was like sort of like the backwards trump thing. Like he think like he was positioning himself where you're like always oh, going to go for the trump again, and then he just goes all the way down there and gets the counter. Yeah, mystery did well to keep all of his options open. He was ready for if Cassie was coming to ledge, recovering low, recovering high, recovering either way he needed to, but. A quick side B is going to be bringing us into a less stock situation. Once again here in game, we're getting a lot of those tonight, and I'm glad for it. Oh, yeah. With 80 participants, it's going to make the tournament run a little bit long, but hey, we love playing this game. We love to see it. All right, here comes this. Oh, he wanted the uh, forward air back air, but gets caught by the tipper instead. Oh, really smart. There we see it. You know, those le those trumps were not working out, but it conditioned him to, you know, basically buffer his ledge get-ups, and now we see Mark. Covering them. And the falling up are really not doing anything for Mr. E. Things are looking very dangerous right now. Brings him to the ledge, and Forward is going to shift him back in and some good DI. It's not out of it just yet, but they're both sitting at very dangerous percentages right now. Yeah. Mr. E doesn't really have to worry about the uh, like the Koopa, the down, the up throw up air. <gasps> what a beautiful tech! And he gets him, and that should be it. That is, is going to do it. Cassie is taking it over, Mr. E. Mr. E is going to be occupying that death loser's bracket. Every it time. It gets more and more dangerous. It's every time. Like, you look at the bracket and losers just get worse and worse and worse.